This is one news now. Heads up motorists. Countries' tollways are speeding up the transition to cashless payments in light of the continued spread of the coronavirus. To give us more details, we have Gerard de la Peña. He's reporting live from the Paranaque Toll Plaza. Gerard, tell us, how many lanes will continue to receive cash payments? Well, Charles, starting on August 15, the Cavitex management will start reducing the number of cash uh, lanes here at the Paranaque Toll Plaza. The ultimate goal is to slowly pivot to cashless transactions in order to uh, lessen the risk of COVID-19 transmissions. Right now, there are five uh, modular toll booths at the southbound and another five along the northbound lane of Cavitex that are currently being used as cash lanes. This will be removed and the pass-through lanes leading to then will be the ones converted to a cash lane. So what used to be nine cash lanes per direction will be reduced to five. The Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation says the goal is to slowly transition to 100% cashless payment of toll fees by November 3. Officials say this will reduce person-to-person -person contact as well as handling of cash, which can also carry transmissible viruses and bacteria. All expressways in the country are expected to follow suit. That's why as early as now, so many cars are lining up to get their free RFID stickers. Officials say cashless payments will also speed up processes at toll gates as cash transactions could last for as much as 12 seconds compared to just 3 seconds for digital transactions. Charles' installation of RFID stickers remains to be free and uh, motorists just have to pay 500 pesos for the initial load which they can use eventually whenever they uh, pass through the expressways. Charles. Thanks for that, Gerard. That was Gerard de la Peña reporting live from Paranaque. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara has ordered the creation of a special team to investigate the alleged summary execution of peasant leader and NDFP peace consultant Randy Echanis. Guevara says their first order of business is to confirm whether the slain individual was indeed Echanis. That's despite the widow, Erlinda Echanis, positively identifying the body as her husband's. In a statement, she said her husband's cadaver bore torture marks, as well as multiple stab and gunshot wounds. Former Pampanga representative and Dr. Anna Bondok is appealing to the president to ban all forms of rapid testing. Bondok says rapid tests are unreliable and have yielded both false positive and false negative results. The former lawmaker says individuals who tested false negative are in effect unknowingly spreading the virus to their colleagues and family. And former Comelec Chairperson Sixto Brillantes has passed away. He was 80 years old. Poll body spokesperson James Jimenez confirmed that Brillantes died at past 11 in the morning today. The former Comelec Chair tested positive for COVID-19 last July 22. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime and anywhere. We'll now throw you back to the Senate inquiry into the alleged anomalies in PhilHealth. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.